What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with another Operation Trebuchet news update. Uh, so this week, guys, we have a few things to talk about. I know it's been a little bit of a hiatus, and there's not quite as much as you would expect from that long of a hiatus, but the stuff that we do have is still really awesome nonetheless. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Starting us off, we have handheld weapons. Uh, specifically, I believe it's the SRM sniper rifle is what it's been dubbed. Uh, this is uh, being shown off by Thomas, who is currently configuring it to get in-game. Now, of course, we have talked about this uh, sniper rifle before, and uh, it's kind of an insurrectionist-based sniper rifle that uh, Frosty designed some time ago. And there's not much else to say about it right now. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty mean weapon, but... Uh, until we actually get in game and see it functioning and everything, it's kind of hard to say much about it or really form an opinion on it until we actually get to uh, play around with it some ourselves. Uh, nonetheless, it is a pretty cool concept. It's uh, kind of got that Halo vibe while also doing something a little bit different, so I think it'll make a good insurrectionist weapon. I really look forward to seeing it uh, being implemented. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next gun, which is from uh, Jedi Nick. Now this is the M247H, which is of course in game as a static turret currently. Uh, Jedi Nick apparently was working on this some time ago, and it's been on a little bit of a hiatus, but uh, he is making George's modifications from Halo Reach to the M247H. Now, I do not know what his plans are for this weapon currently. I don't know if the plans are to have this as a potential handheld weapon. Uh, using systems similar to uh, Fireteam Zulu, where you can basically carry around the turrets with you, but you're slowed down significantly. Uh, that could be a kind of a cool feature if they end up doing that or implementing that directly into Optre, but uh, as that involves scripting, and I think it can potentially be somewhat janky, I'm not sure if they'd want to do that. Uh, nonetheless, though, I'm interested to see where they go with it. It's a cool weapons platform, and I think that would be a really neat feature to see. Then we have uh, a bench under structures here. This is from new development team member John Clark. He is a uh, entry dev that's just joined the team recently. Uh, the bench is pretty straightforward, but, uh, you know, as always, I will say this time and time and time again, it is always nice to get uh, props and assets and just building structures, you know, structures, things that we can place around, not just uh, not just weapons and armor and tanks or vehicles, I should say. But static props, like, they really set the mood for missions and stuff like that. So having futuristic sci-fi benches and stuff like that, even though we've got, like, five or six benches, is always welcome. Plus, it's a good starter uh, entry tool, or entry tool, entry uh, project, because it's pretty basic and straightforward. So then that moves us on over to vehicles, and we start off with a concept art piece for the uh, Spartan laser attachment on the Warthog, which is just... Mad ladding, mad ladness. Yeah, I don't know. Guys, okay, sorry. I for forgive me for that. Anyways, um, it is just a really basic concept art right now. It's obviously there's no 3D model or actual anything in game to go with this yet. Um, I can't even imagine what a warthog mounted Spartan laser would be like, but I'm on board with it. Absolutely. Uh, the fact is, is that I think this could be absolutely fun, but really to form any opinions on it, I want to see, I guess, how the handheld Spartan laser that the development team has been working on actually acts in Arma and see if that's a viable thing at all. But if it is, I'd be totally on board with them actually carrying through on this concept here. Uh, so then that brings us to some of Vlad's work, uh, Vlad and Thomas, I should say. Um, Thomas, once again, showing off these pictures here of him implementing... Uh, further variants of the Scorpion tank that we've talked about in previous updates, which includes the Lockdown Scorpion in this case. Uh, it's probably going to have detachable plows, it sounds like, and of course it's got its Halo Wars 2 paint scheme, which is the uh, the black and red. Uh, very cool tank. Really interested to see like what people end up doing with these things in ops and stuff like that. If people use these for like mine clearing and stuff like that, I'm not sure if that's going to be a viable thing. Uh, but it could be fun to watch. Uh, then that brings us on over to the uh, M808S variant, which is getting a Tusk variant, kind of similar to the Abrams. Uh, this Tusk variant is basically going to have an M247H mounted onto it, and uh, you guys will see some pictures. This M247H placement isn't final, it's just Thomas testing some stuff out. He's kind of basing the placement off of the, uh, the Abrams tank once again, which has a, uh, has a turret basically mounted 
at the the rear end of the barrel. This one's a little bit further forward than what you see on the Abrams. Uh, other people have suggested movement of the uh, the turret either onto the main body of the tank or further back on the turret near what appears to be a rear hatch. Personally, I think that is the best placement up high uh, near that rear hatch for somebody. I think that looks really good, and I think just functionally speaking, that's a good spot to have it too, where it's not losing a lot of you know height or functionality or field of view. But uh, I'm guessing it'll be remote controlled anyways, possibly. I'm not really sure exactly what will happen with it, but it's a pretty neat concept. I'm on board with throwing more guns on a scorpion tank, because why not? <laughs> um, okay, so then that brings us over to a project solely by Vlad, which is the Troop Transport Warthog, which we've uh, shown off this Warthog previously, of course, but this is the uh, the modified Troop Transport variant, uh, which is in the game already. Of course, we don't have the Halo Reach version, so this is an updated Warthog model with a... Uh, variant that's more in line with the art direction that Optray has now as opposed to what it had when the Warhog was first implemented. Um, aside from that, there's not too much to say about it. It's Halo Reach's True Transport Hog. It's still just a, a render. This isn't in game or anything yet, of course. Uh, we might see this in Squad first as they've already got a couple of Lads Warhogs into Squad and everything. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty good though. I'm excited for it. And then, uh, rounding us off, I probably should have included this in uh, main mod news, because technically, this is being made by another Optray entry dev. Um, and the thing is, is that I've included it as a uh, community, because it's going to be donated both to Optray and to community. Uh, this is another Gamma project, which is the Saw from Halo 4, of course. And apparently uh, it'll get donated both to the Optray team and it'll go into Gamma's public mod so that further, you know, it can be implemented a little bit faster and updates and tweaks made to it before it goes into the main mod or development build for Optray or whatever. Um, personally, and I've said this before, Halo 4, Halo 5, just 343 stuff in general hasn't been my favorite art styles. So that extends to the design of the saw, but functionally speaking, the saw is an awesome weapon. So I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it, it might not be my favorite looking gun, but it is a blast to use. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's a good quality uh, model. So, yeah, it's, so that's all pretty exciting stuff here. Anyways, guys, like I said, not as much as you might expect for a two and a half, three week hiatus, depending on when this actually releases. But uh, as always, I want to know what were you guys most excited for from this week's video? Uh, what do you guys want to get your hands on the most from what we showed off today? What would you guys like to see in the future of Optra? I know that there's one of you who keeps asking for that Mark IV armor and just hang in there, man. Maybe one day. I'd love to see the Mark IV from Halo Wars as well. It's a it's a very cool looking armor. I would be down for that. Uh, but what else would you guys like to see from uh, Halo games, books, media, anything like that? Let me know in the comments below, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.